Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game from Scratch with some news on the Epic Mega Grant front. We've had two great game development tools get Mega Grants in the last 24 hours, so in this video we are going to look at them. But before we get into that, I guess we should briefly mention what the Epic Mega Grants are all about. See, back in, I think it was GDC of 2019, Epic's games commit, or Epic's, Epic Games committed to $100 million basically of grant money. No strings attached, just if you pitch it, we like it, we'll fund you uh, for a number of different categories. So, for example, game developers for actually developing games, media and entertainment, enterprise, education, tools and open source developers, and so on. And a number of projects we definitely know and love were backed by mega grant programs, including uh, the Godot game engine, uh, Blender, uh, Dust 3D, and so on and so forth. Well, today we are adding two more recipients to that list. So, without further ado, let us jump in. Now, the first recipient is uh, Material Maker. Now, I love Material Maker. I've covered it a number of times on the channel and in a small way I feel like I might have actually contributed to this mega grant we'll get to that in just a second but what we have here is I am thrilled and honored to announce that material maker has been selected for an epic mega grant thanks epic games for supporting small open source projects like this one uh, this will help speed up development through 2022 so we're going to get some more details about what material maker is all about in just a second now I'm just gonna toot my own horn for here for a second uh, back in July 25th of 2020 I said this would be an epic choice for a mega grant an open source alternative to substance is just what the world needs right now. Wouldn't you agree, Tim Sweeney Epic? To which he replied, that's great, please apply. So I don't know if I started this ball, ball rolling or not, but hey, I'm going to take some credit here. But congratulations, uh, Rodzilla and the Material Maker project is great. Hopefully this continues things going forward in the Epic arc they have been now. And then next up, we have another one. Now this one, I can't read out loud uh, the direct tweet. You can see it on screen right now. I will quote it as, holy foliage, Scheiser. Yeah, we'll go with that. Holy foliage, Scheiser is what was written written here when this fellow received this grant. And this tweet stream has actually been going on for a little while, but it was an application for an epic mega grant to fund very specific SDL improvements. Now, SDL stands for uh, Simple Direct Media Layer, uh, and we'll get back to what that means in just a second as well. You can see the application process isn't an immediate thing. They started reviewing it back in May 25th. Uh, we got a bit of a follow-up saying, you know, give us more details. And then finally, again, the foliage kind of hits the fan here where we've got, uh, he got it. Thank you for submitting your project to Epic Programs. We are pleased to announce that uh, your team has been selected for a mega grant of a lot of money for a lot of reasons. Uh, Epic is excited for the opportunity to support your project, and we look forward to you celebrating your success. So this is a new project as part of SDL, and SDL is the underlying layer. Well, ironically enough, uh, Unreal Engine itself actually uses SDL on Unity. It's used by a lot of uh, games, including uh, id Tech and so on, uh, for the uh, windowing and graphics side of things for uh, Linux ports specifically. Um, and then we come on down here. There's a little bit of a tease about what it's about, but when will we find out what the feature is? Soon. So we don't know specifically what was funded as part of SDL improvements, uh, but SDL, or at least a developer contributing to SDL, just got a mega grant as well. So that is really uh, quite cool news. Now, quick recap of both projects. If you're regular to the, the Game From Scratch channel, uh, I've covered Material Maker a handful of times. It keeps improving at such a staggering rate. But the way I could probably best describe it is it's sort of an open source uh, project, uh, sorry, um, substance designer type program. It's for procedurally creating materials, but they've also added some painting functionality recently as well. The painting stuff is pretty new, but if you want to check out Material Maker, well, first off, you can do so at materialmaker.org. Uh, also, I've done a couple of videos on the channel, so if you want to see Material Maker in action, I do have you covered there. It is a very cool program. I highly recommend you check it out. It's an open source project. It is built using the Godot game engine, uh, and you use like this node or graph-based approach to create materials. The cool thing is they also have materials on the uh, the web, so you can actually go ahead and download pre-created ones. Check out their Discord server. This is an open source project, so if you want to check that out, uh, it's available up on GitHub as well. Uh, it is under the MIT license, and he does very frequent releases. So 15 releases have happened. Uh, the last one was uh, about three weeks ago. So uh, that is Material Maker. Again, if you want to learn more about it, do be sure to check out uh, the channel. We've done a number of videos on that. And then we've got SDL. And SDL stands for Simple 
simple direct media layer, a cross-platform uh, development library to provide low-level access to audio, keyboard, mouse, joystick, and graphics hardware via OpenGL and Direct3D. Been used for a number of different games, including uh, Valve's own games, games from Humble Bundle, and so on. It works on Windows, Mac OS, Linux, iOS, and Android. I'm not 100% certain, well, actually, I have no idea at all what the project is for extending SDL that they got... Um, funding for, but definitely nice to see. Both projects are great. Uh, SDL is kind of a, a linchpin for porting to uh, the uh, Linux operating system. And on top of that, it's just a good, uh, you know, library, cross-platform library for handling that low-level stuff that you probably don't want to write yourself because SDL has been in development for a number and number of years. So you don't want to go through all that work yourself. I mean, you used to make a ton of uh, commercial successful games. Uh, it is open source as well under the Zlib library if you want to check that out. So congratulations to SDL and congratulations to Material Maker on your uh, Unreal Engine, I'm oh, sorry, Epic Mega Grant. Um, if you create a similar project, do consider applying. I, I know that $100 million is starting to get towards the bottom. I think they've given out about 80 million of it. Uh, they do uh, updates periodically of uh, where the program currently is, but it is not over yet. So if you create a tool or something and you think that uh, you could get funding from Epic Games, hey, maybe you should apply. It could be a, a real game changer for how things go. And I got to say, this is a, a, an epic uh, initiative from uh, Epic Games. Uh, the Mega Grants program is one of those reasons why people say that I, I'm like a cheerleader for Epic Games. Hey, when they keep doing cool stuff, I'm going to keep reporting on the cool stuff they do. And Epic Mega Grants is definitely one of those things. It's like a huge influx of cash into a lot of projects that uh, you know may otherwise be... Um, you know, struggle to get funding or struggle just to, to get by, but they're key linchpin projects to, especially in the open source world. So it's really cool, uh, this program, uh, really cool to see these programs um, honored. And again, there's been a number of other programs that have already uh, benefited from the Epic Mega Grants system. Let me know what you think of these two programs specifically and what other programs should get uh, Epic Mega Grants sponsorship. So that's it. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.